Sodium ascorbyl phosphate, also known as SAP. SAP is an EcoCert approved vitamin C derivative. So for those of you trying to stay natural or EcoCert, this is a great choice. It's not as potent of an antioxidant as L-ascorbic acid, but it is an antioxidant. It offers a brightening effects and it is actually a great ingredient for oily skin types. It's been shown to be great for those with oily sensitive skin, but it doesn't absorb well in the skin. So you gotta use it regularly. That information comes from Chemist Confessions blog. Formulating with SAP. It's a white to pale yellow powder. It's water soluble. It makes clear solutions at 3% or less. It's light and oxygen stable. It's natural pH is nine to 10. It may discolor in pH levels below six and you need to keep the product's final pH in between six to seven. I also have read some places that it needs between be between 6.5 and seven. So I don't know. Add in a chelating agent for stability. It's heat sensitive, so add below 40 degrees Celsius. And its typical usage rate is 0.2% to 3% up to 10%. And it is natural and EcoCert. Here's the formula we're working with. I did make sure to use all EcoCert slash natural compliant ingredients. And the Sologum AX is going to be our thickener. So Sologum AX is EcoCert, it is natural. It's, I don't know how to say it, this word and xanthan gum. And we're starting with phase A, we're making a 100 gram batch. And I added in 80 grams of distilled water. Then I added in the 0.3 grams of sodium phytate, just mix that in until it dissolves. And then I added in the three grams of the SAP, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, and just mix that in until it dissolves. It dissolves super easily. Now moving on to phase B, I got a separate sanitized bowl. I have Uxil K900 in there, just one gram of it. And I added in one gram of polysugomols D9. Mix that all together. The polysugomols D9 will keep the Uxil K900 mixed into your formula evenly since it's not 100% water soluble. So go back to your phase A and pour phase B in the phase A and mix. And it will turn like a little white and milky and that's just due to like the little bit of a emulsion going on. Set that to the side, let's work on phase C. I've got five grams of propendyl in this sanitized bowl, and I added in one gram of Sologum AX, and you just wanna mix it together. You will see like little chunks of Sologum still in there. They'll go away once we pour it into phase A and B. So pour your phase C into A and B while mixing. And there you go. Now you just gotta check and adjust the pH. So the natural pH is like 9.2. 20, somewhere around there. So we do gotta make sure we lower the pH. Personally, I do find lowering the pH to be easier than raising the pH, but that's just my opinion. So in this container, I have 50% citric acid dissolved in 50% distilled water. Sorry to be throwing more things out at you, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta dissolve equal parts citric acid in equal parts distilled water. You can get citric acid basically anywhere, grocery store, Amazon, most cosmetic ingredient suppliers sell it. It's pretty easy and inexpensive. Mix that together until the citric acid dissolves and start by adding like two drops into your product. If you are experienced with doing this, you can probably add more, but I don't want you to lower the pH too low. Just add a few drops in at a time and then take the pH again. So the next time I took the pH, it was 7.8. So that's still a little bit too high. So I went ahead and added in a couple more drops of that citric acid solution. And and then here the pH is around 6.779, 6.8. There we go. And that is perfectly fine because we want somewhere between six to seven or 6.5 to seven. I, like I said, I read it both places. So we're just gonna leave it there. And I covered it with plastic wrap. I let it sit overnight. And I did check the pH again the next day just to make sure it didn't drift. And it did actually like lower a little bit. It lowered to 6.77, which is literally barely anything because it was 6.8. When it comes to using this serum, I don't reach for it as much just because I don't 100% like the sensory feel of Sologum AX. As much as I like the hyaluronic acid or Cepamax Zen, like it's fine. I can handle the tackiness a little bit of the Sologum AX because it's not as tacky as just using Xanthan gum, but it's still not 100% my favorite, but it's good. It's like, like I'll rank it like, like an eight. The hyaluronic acid and the seven mags in are like a 10. So it's still good. It's just not the best, but you might like it. And also maybe lowering the rec the usage rate a little bit, maybe to 0.5%, I might like it a little bit more. Anyways, you wanna use the serum, apply it on clean, dry skin, 
and then follow with moisturizer. Use it in AM and PM for best results. So my final thoughts on SAP. I like formulating with this derivative. I love that it's EcoCert, so that makes a lot of people happy. Plus, it seems to be a pretty popular derivative and it has a lot of research to back it up. I like that it's good for acne prone skin too. The main thing to keep in mind is that it does have a high pH, so you do need to make sure you're lowering it. Pretty easy fix, honestly. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over and binge watch for only five dollars a month also if you don't have access to patreon in your country you can sign up as a youtube member instead if you sign up for the ten dollar tier on my patreon you get a shout out for your small business i'll have all these brands linked below hb royal retreat store on etsy naturesfarmgirl.com let's blend llc at stardust bath and body hempygirl.com shoplevis.com Owl and Lily over on Etsy, Skin Lounge Co. over on Etsy, BlackPetalBeauty.com, EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com, LegendaryBathAndBody.com, AstariApothecary.com, Raviga Cosmetics here on YouTube, ExoreBB.com, PartoNaturals.com, NaturalStateSkin.com, TheNatureInUs.ca, nearcatalier.com. Use the code on the screen for 20% off. Earthandambernaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, daytorelaxproducts.com, crownedglorylc.com, lhscentedsoapsandmore.com, janaerose.com, healthnutbeauty on Etsy, velvettemptations.com, journeyrosebeauty.com, chrbrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, CanalaBathAndBody.com, MadhouseMamaSoaps.com, Expo.com, Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and MyCrownAndGlory.com. Thank you so much for you guys' support. Without you guys over on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you so much.